there are a couple things that are really excite people about taking a nutrition course. And one of them is, is how many calories do I need in a day? And this is just an example, but students want to get out of a course something that's practical to their real life. So what happens is when they learn how to calculate how many calories they need or their neighbor needs, that really excites them. So what I do is I teach it online, visually, audio, and then we do a couple homework assignments and they manually have to calculate their nutrition needs calorie wise as well as Jane Doe or neighbor, somebody that's a different height, gender, et cetera. And it, may, it helps them formulate how do I really get to the bottom answer. And if somebody's coming up with 5,000 calories a day and the person's 60 years old, you automatically, you know, tell them, now think about your answer. Look at your answer. Does that probably make sense? If not, there is an error. So then we go back through and we find where the error was. And once they get it right, they're like, oh, I get it now. So I think that's exciting to me to, for them to learn something that's really practical for their real life as well as show them and, and mentor them through the process of how to get the right answer. There is a gap between knowledge and wisdom. And our students have this opportunity to pick up this very uh, boxed knowledge and we don't do enough in terms of teaching them how to apply that knowledge, right? So in my strategy course, uh, the requirement is that if they want to do strategy, then they have to do strategy, not just learn about strategy, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, so when you look at the applying strategy piece, either you take a company and you tell me what that company needs to be doing today, so that five years down the road, whether it's Nike or IBM or Starbucks or anybody, they're going to be successful. So in every chapter, they are challenged to actually apply it, and they're overwhelmed with the task. Because they are going, I can answer a multiple choice question, what do you mean I have to develop a strategy for Starbucks, right? And the reason I bring that to the classroom is because I'm an entrepreneur myself. I've started two companies, and one, of, one company is an online company, it's a virtual company. So when I started the company, I thought, okay, I'm a business professor, right? How hard can this be? And boy, was I fooled, right? Because what you learn, the, the market doesn't behave, consumers don't behave, customers don't behave, they do whatever they like, right? You can tell it's a great product, but hey, they are going to make their own choices. So what I learned as an entrepreneur, I'm now able to bring to the classroom. And I think my entire teaching of the business curriculum has completely changed because of that entrepreneurial experience that I had. I don't any longer assume that the theories, the concepts, uh, you know, the ideas, oh sure, yeah, just go do it. I know that the doing is not that easy. So I think the, the reason why this, some of these online classes that I teach, students leave and go, oh my God, that was a difficult class, but that was the best class that I took, is because they have to apply whatever it is that they're learning. The same thing is true with the leadership class, right? It's one thing to read about all the leadership theories, but I tell them, tell me how, go, because everybody has some colleague that they don't like or can't stand, or some, you know, a boss with whom they have to discuss a difficult issue. And so they have to do that in the class. They have to do that as part of the class. And the, we are we're giving them the tools and techniques, but we are saying, go do it. And I think that's what I would refer to as deep learning, because that's not about, did you answer these multiple choice? Did you write the essays? Because even the essays, they can get help from somebody else, right? And they do that because you'll have a student who will write an email that looks terrible, they cannot even write a single cent, and their papers will be flawless. <laughs> so that's not where the learning takes place, but if they have to apply it and they have to talk about it and write about it, then they go, okay. So the deep learning part is something that I'm very proud of.